my name is Florence Mwindi and I serve with Life in Abundance International. I am the founder president and uh, chief executive officer uh, for the work that we do in several countries in Africa, uh, but also in the Caribbean. Uh, Life in Abundance works with the poor and the vulnerable through the local church to restore hope and encourage transformational development uh, to a place where it's sustainable and it's owned by the people. Uh, a story of impact for me was uh, just the way God began this ministry, I will never forget, because we went into a community that was very destitute in Ethiopia. And we were following after God to just hear, what do you want us to do in this community? He directed us to a partnership with the local church. Uh, we began to talk to them about what is their vision for the community. Uh, we did the first um, screening of children who were in a program and uh, just realized how several children that we looked at, we looked at more than 260 children there, and uh, over half of those children had active disease processes that were happening in their bodies. Um, and some of them were like two disease processes that would be happening in their body, like they would be with worms and they're also having ear infection, or they would be having tuberculosis, but they also had um, skin disease. And as we began to look at these children who were actually the better children in the community because they were sponsored children, we realized there's a deep um, problem, uh, that the environment, the places where they are growing, the nutrition, uh, the support, um, all that needed to be addressed that there can be health and well-being in the community. And as we began to engage the church to see what can be done, uh, do we just continue giving prescriptions and uh, the children go back to their communities and come back after a month for yet another prescription? Because um, they living in the same conditions, they will still get the same kind of infections over and over again. And as the church realized that preventive measures were needed, um, they asked us, how can we help? Um, and we came alongside the church to train them in community mobilization, community organizing, putting people in groups, identifying people who were totally dependent on begging, and giving them skills through microenterprise, beginning new businesses, uh, working the streets to clean uh, trash and public toilets, uh, just beginning to work as a church, uh, meeting felt needs in the community that were root causes of the diseases that we were seeing in the children. The interesting thing was we tracked that over three years because this was a cohort of children who were sponsored and we saw the disease level just going down. And by the end of three years, it was less than 10% of the children that we were seeing that would come with a disease to be, to be treated. And we just saw what it means when a church begins to mobilize a community and begins to influence them, not just in the physical, but also in the spiritual. Just taking charge of the, the prayer corners, uh, praying in some places where there were strongholds and there were habits that were going on like alcoholism or prostitution and just seeing a change begin to come. That whole transformation awoken me to the reality that God is interested in development and he wants to see change come and for light to be there, that he can be worshipped and glorified, that he can have dominion in even the darkest communities. And that just gave me the confidence uh, to move from that initial community to believe to the ends of the earth. God wants us to do this. And it just formulated a strategy for us that it's the local church, it's meeting felt needs, it's spiritual and physical, it's transformational development.